Um, so let's just cut right to we'll it. We'll go right then, to huh? it. Uh, <laughs> so what happened? So, again, it's funny because it's been, you know, so, yes, they, they obviously Tuka got hurt Saturday uh-huh. night really badly. I've never Gnarly seen a guy hit. get run over like that. That was a big one. Um, so hopefully he's good. He's going to have, it'll be interesting to see where he's at um, when everyone gets back this weekend. But um, I'm obviously doing Nesson, so I'm in the bra, I'm up in the studio and didn't really think about it, but obviously I'm on the list. Um for emergency goalies. I've been on it for four years now, three years. And, you know, basically all that means is I could, if absolutely everyone gets hurt within a game, then I could go out there and, you know, stand in there. So, um, they have someone there, <clears throat> excuse me, all the time, but just, of course I was there. I'm probably a better option because I've actually played. Yeah. And, um, so they got me and I couldn't, uh, they, they knew exactly <laughs> where I was. There was no, uh, there was no dodging them in any way whatsoever. So they came back to my house, got all my equipment and then brought that to the rink just in case, so um, who came to your house? like a couple of the guys from the from the, from the Bruins, Oh, like, really? like the staffers. Yeah. So they drove out here. My my wife has been away all weekend, so my in laws were here. So they had to get all my gear together. Oh, I saw something online. I I don't know why I went by some person online, but I thought it said that like you. Can, I was at an event. The game was on, but I didn't know that that was going on. I was yeah, like, yeah. No one did during the game. Yeah, there was because again, I, I there nothing was going on. There was nothing above. Again, this happens. This has happened before. I've got phone yeah. calls like, hey. Are you home? Can you be here in 20 minutes if we need you? It was you? just that you were on Nessa. It was just time. exactly. And yeah. people actually were like, obviously the camera's rolling. They grabbed me right off the intermission set, the whole thing. Oh, so okay. It's, uh, you know, it was a little more public. This but morning. I thought your wife had to drive. She's not even in town. No, no. So she was, no she was in drive Florida. She was there. in Florida. So no, they drove out here, got it, and then drove back in. So, oh, man. Yeah, there's no way. You know, it was a snowstorm too. So, so no, one, uh, no one from here was driving <laughs> in with my gear. <laughs> you had to tell them like where in the basement it yeah is. yeah exactly what it was so i called like hey there's gonna be someone dropping by the house you know the kids are you know the whole thing so um so yeah it was just it was funny and and again that was the first time i was actually in the building so it was a little more you know like wow this could actually happen you know yeah this is the closest this has been in a long time to actually having to go in so is that like you were more nervous than normal where you're kind of like Cause I, I thought they had to have a backup sitting on the bench. Because I know a few times, like, um, uh, what's his name? The goalie coach there. Yeah, uh, Bobby Senza. Yeah, he, that he came and sat on the bench. Yeah, but. so technically you're not allowed to sit on the bench. So I, I don't know. Um, I think Bobby did that as more of a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, because technically if you're on the bench, you need to sign a contract to sit there, oh. which obviously messes up rosters and cap space and everything. So... With the emergency goalie, the clause is obviously if it's absolutely desperate that someone needs to go in the net. Um, so that's why it didn't. That's why I didn't go down and sit on the bench. It was just like yeah. I'm in the building, my equipment's in the building. If something happens, you're on the bench. I'm but you're gonna, working. They're going to give me 20 minutes to get ready. You know, oh, put okay. my equipment on and go out onto the. That ice. was going to be my next question. Is yeah. like, do we hang out while you like run downstairs, put your equipment on, and then like goalie equipment? not that easy to put on yeah no but it would take it would take 10 minutes again obviously if if a whole lot got run over the same way tuka did yeah you know 10 minutes later so obviously it's going to take him 10 minutes to get off the ice as soon as that happens someone will run and grab me and put me in the bat elevator down to the rink They'll get me down there, get my stuff on, and then I'll have another few minutes to to warm up, I suppose. They, they let you warm up, take but some shots. I yeah, I assume maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, it doesn't really happen. It happens scuff up once the every crease and then years, well, so. let's go. <laughs> so again, it's like you know, there's there it, as close as it was. There was about a hundred other pieces that needed to fall into place before, but it's uh, it was it, it's a cool thing to talk about. Yeah, and I remember. It's, <laughs> Um, seeing like that night or the next morning, Dale Arnold's tweet saying, yeah. my favorite part of the night was watching Razor crap his pants. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it too. Cause that, and that was the other thing is like, I had to act like, while this is all going on, the game's playing. 
Yeah. Right. So I'm like dealing with all of this and then basically, okay, we got to go, we're gonna go on the second intermission. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I literally said to Bill, like, what, where are we at here? What are we talking about? Like, did anything happen? Cause I really, you know, my mind was racing. Even if it looked like I was watching the game, I really wasn't paying too much attention and my phone was going crazy. And I was talking to yeah, the Billy guys tweeted and, a picture of you just like in your phone. Like, yeah, was I was like, trying to get everybody, you know, on board. Organizing. Yes. Organizing. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so yeah, so if I did a poor job with my analysis in the second intermission, that was completely why, because I was um, completely unhinged. So that was the closest it's ever come for you bef- like to having to maybe step in. Yeah, no question. No question. But it, you know, I like get if it. it was Toronto in the building, could Toronto be like, hey, you played for us too. No, 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 no. Because no. you have to. They have to set a list. The teams have to have a list. Oh, so it's set in stone that it's like Boston is your. Well, no. They just each team has like five, four guys or five guys that they send in the league. They probably just leave it at the league. You know, they probably don't even renew it every year. Yeah. But it's just crossing eyes and dotting t's for those guys. And again, it's way down the list. But no, like I couldn't do Toronto because I don't live anywhere near Toronto. But if they were in Boston. And if then, they were in Boston, they would have someone else on, you know, they would have, you know, whether it's their goalie coach or someone within the organization on their list, oh, okay. a trainer or whatever it is to be able to go out and do that. Cause like that wouldn't be me accountant. That it would be played. a guy that goes on every road trip. Oh, they you bring, wouldn't have a guy oh, okay. like in every city, like, so like an equipment manager. Would, yeah. yeah. Whoever it is, you know, usually it's obvious. Usually it's a goalie coach. Usually it's Bobby Asenza. You know, he goes, you know, Bobby's yeah. on every road trip. And he played for the Jets. He he played. So, you know, he's just, you know, he can go in there if they absolutely had to. Yeah. You know, again, to put, you know, how many times has both guys gotten hurt to the point where they can't finish a game? Like, you know, even if Halak, like, pulled a growing or something like that, like, he's basically staying in there unless he's, like... Unless he's knocked out, too. Like, cramps, you know. And even then, like, you know, it probably would depend on the time of the game, too. If it's a one nothing game with two periods left yeah he's probably not coming out i think the last time the guy came out you know he had bad bad cramps the second guy but there was six minutes left in the game or something like right that, you know so you could it's not a heavy work you're not going to give up 10 goals in six minutes it's, yeah you know it's impossible i mean you could like no, if i stepped just, in no you possible. couldn't you could because you just wouldn't the team it just wouldn't happen like there's just not enough time yeah it's just a it's a time thing 